Hey guys, so we're at it again with the second episode of Trend Reports and today I'm gonna to be talking to you guys about summer trends. Yes, it is summertime. Memorial Day weekend is literally this weekend and so I wanted to talk about what to expect for summer in fashion, beauty, food, makeup, hair, everything you need to know to be ready and gorgeous for summertime. So let's just get started. So let's kick it right off with fashion. And in the fashion world, for the summer, we're seeing lace up knee high gladiators. This is a twist from last summer, where last summer it was all about the one strap, very clean, very simple sandal. Fast forward to this summer, we're seeing tasseled, elaborate, knee-high gladiator sandals, which is completely the opposite spectrum of what you know we were used to last year. So for ladies who haven't gotten around to revamping their wardrobe this summer, that is probably one key piece of fashion gear that you should go out and pick up so that you are styling and looking like a trendsetter this summer. And for me, you know what, I am, I think I'm a fan. There is a nude, I think it's like a nude tan leather knee-high sandal on the Zara website. I have been eyeing that for a while, haven't actually gone and you know pulled the trigger and purchased it yet, but since summer is here and I will be getting a lot of wear out of that, it'll go really well with the clothes that I already have in my closet. That's an easy fix and that's an easy way to kind of, you know, change up your wardrobe really quickly. So thigh, not thigh high, <laughs> knee high gladiator sandals, guys. You will probably be seeing that in the summer everywhere. And if you guys have been following a lot of fashion bloggers, that has probably popped up in your feed fairly frequently. So gladiator sandals, knee high gladiator sandals. The more complex, the more intricate, the more twists and ties and the more bells and whistles you got on it, the better. So I have two fashion trends for you guys. I know, I know, this is a little different from the last time, but the second fashion trend is overalls, right? You're thinking, huh, what am I, how old was I when I first started wearing overalls? Am I 10? Am I 13? Overalls are back and in a big way. <laughs> and not the romper style overalls. I'm talking jean overalls and you got the buckle and the front pocket but the 2015 twist is the overalls are obviously going to be more form-fitted so you're not going to be seeing the big old baggy sides it's definitely form-fitted to your waist you're going to see your booty it's form-fitted to your hips so it's slender cuts a lot more fitted but still really sexy so think Farmer John meets Jessica Simpson, boots are made for walking style, like, you know, very country, but still really, really cute. For those of you who are wanting to try out this trend, definitely have fun with it. It is a cute summer trend. All right, so moving on to beauty. For the summer, the trend is go bold. And this can either be blue eyeliner, which has been taking over the beauty space. We saw it on Paris Fashion Week. We saw it on the runways. It's now all over Instagram. Pops of color. So yes, the bronze eye and sun-kissed look, but go bold, get a pop of color in there. I have actually done a makeup tutorial, if you guys haven't watched it yet, makeup tutorial on how to do a chic blue eyeliner and pairing it with a coppery eye. I'll leave the link down below and you guys can go check it out. But yeah, wearing blue eyeliner, not just in your waterline, go bold and wearing it as an actual line, winging it out, going bold to the point where you're even pairing it with blue mascara. That's a really cute look. Obviously, let's not go into the intergalactic side. Obviously, we wanna keep everything still really chic. A clean face, fresh look with that bold eyeliner this summer is gonna be gorgeous. But for those ladies that are a bit more on the timid front and definitely don't wanna explore with pops of color, there is also another trend that you can try out for the summer of 2015. And the trend is also still really bold and still really fun. And it's just wearing black 
eyeliner and your waterline and that's it no matching on your top line just black in your waterline smudging it out a bit and mascara and it's that grungy wet slick look but still really chic and still really fun to try out for summer and it's still a bold look so think a half smoky eye if you guys are having a hard time picturing it it is really a fresh take on the normal way to wear eyeliner. I actually love both of these beauty trends. I've already tried out the blue eyeliner trend and you'll likely see me wearing smudge eyeliner in my waterline very soon. It's just fun to try new trends and it's just makeup. One day you can wear it, the other day you can go back to wearing something that you're normally used to. So definitely have at it. This will be really fun and really chic and sexy for the summertime. So on to hair. I am really liking the new trend that I've discovered for hair. And I'm obviously not wearing it. <laughs> but the new trend for hair is easy, breezy, slick. And you're probably thinking, what does that mean? I'm talking about having your hair slick back as if you had just come out of the shower. So girls who want to be lazy when it comes to their hair, try this trend out. A little bit of gel through your hair, just combing back a bit, slick back, wet look is in for summer. So yeah, you know what? I am loving this trend just because there are days when I don't wanna pull out a curling iron and go through the process of, you know, getting all juiced up. But then there are also days where I don't want to wear my hair naturally dry or I don't wanna blow it out. And if I want to go out and kind of look made up and look a little bit fun and different, I'm gonna do it. Slick back my hair, put a little bit of smudged eyeliner in my waterline, kind of have that 90s grunge cool girl chick working with a fresh face, dewy skin, and a little bit of lip balm. I think that's a look, guys. Definitely a look, yes. Yes, summer is all about the sun-kissed hair and it's all about the braids and the curls and beach waves, but why not try something different? Why not try the slick back look? Because I think you guys will be surprised to see how fun and chic and edgy it looks. So I, for one, am really liking this trend and I, for one, am going to wear it out one of these days and you'll likely see it on my Instagram. So keep watch for that. And finally, we've come to the food trend. And this food trend is another mashup and it is another dessert. Of course, come on guys, you know me. I am a dessert freak. I love desserts. And when I came across this one, it was like the Doka experience. Like, heaven's pardon, it was like, oh. Guys, I haven't even told you about it. It's a cup caron. It's a cupcake. <laughs> and a macaron. Am I mispronouncing a macaron? I will not say it like that. I love this trend because it combines two of my favorite desserts into one. And for you dessert lovers like me who can't decide if they want a macaron or if they want a cupcake, you can get both in this little wonderful creation. It's like, mm, it's so, so good. So the cup caron was created by baked by Melissa. And this is a New York cupcakery and they're well known for their mini, literally I mean mini, it's like this small and they're like this high, mini one bite size cupcakes where you essentially like pop them in your mouth and that's about it. For ladies who just want a little taste of cupcake and they're watching their figure, want to be healthy, go check out baked by Melissa because I think you can get away with two and you didn't really actually eat a whole cupcake but you got the taste of it lovely or the opposite for people who can't decide on the kind of cupcakes they want and don't want to buy 12 dozen full-size cupcakes you can buy a box of 12 or 24 mini cupcakes and try every single flavor and they're this small so you can just like pop them in your mouth just like popcorn phenomenal Anywho, back to the Cup Corona. Baked by Melissa created three flavors. Cotton candy, 
strawberry cream and like I think chocolate graham cracker are the three of them. And so the base is the mini cupcake and then there's that little cream and then the top is half of a macaron. And this cupcron is to die for guys. Like they're so cute, they're so small and you literally just, I literally could have bought like 17 of them to be honest. They're so good. So, so, so good. And I love it. It's two of my favorite desserts smashed into one and I don't have to feel bad about choosing or even eating so many because they're literally this small. Yep, go check them out. I'm pretty sure that the Cup Caron has found copycats. So if you are not in the New York City area or you're not near the East Coast, see if the Cup Caron is somewhere in your city. Or I think Baked by Melissa may ship, but don't take my word for it. I might be completely wrong. So that's it guys, that's the summer trend report. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I had a really fun time researching all these trends so that I could get it to you guys and share it with you guys. Definitely leave me a comment down below letting me know what you guys think of the summer trends. Let me know if you guys are gonna go out and try them, if you already have them and you guys are, you know, ahead of the game. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you love trend reports. I certainly love sharing them with you and I certainly love filming them. These are one of my favorite videos to film. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe because I know you don't want to miss any videos coming from me. Also remember to check me out on Instagram and Twitter and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!